What's going on everyone? My name is John Petroselli. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today I am presenting three really amazing options for alto, tenor, and soprano saxophone. These are Monique saxophones. Back in the 1990s, Taiwan became the epicenter of saxophone manufacturing on planet Earth. The French technicians from Selmer and several other companies went to Asia with the intent of teaching the, the techniques for saxophone manufacture, as well as bringing designs from many of the contemporary instruments of the day. Selmer Mark VI, Super Action 80, Series 1 and Series 2 were chief among those designs. Taiwan was also tasked with creating some of the early Yanagizawa products as well. And these designs are reflected in the three saxophones from Monique that you see with me today. This is an imprint brand. Essentially the factory put out a logo and a name behind their products in order to export them and sell them to the United States. So the first one I'm gonna show you today is the soprano saxophone. And you can see the Monique imprint right here. Keywork and aesthetically has a lot in common with the Yanagazawa. Beautiful pearl inlays. And this has a rich tone that I think would be suitable for just about any genre. So it's a really lovely instrument. The key work is solid and responsive. And this would make an incredible companion to an existing collection or to get you started down your soprano saxophone journey. Next, I'm gonna switch over to the tenor saxophone. And this is something that I'm really fascinated by. You can notice the S on the neck at the top of this instrument. Obviously, we know where Monique was taking their design cues during the 1990s. And in fact, uh, the pro model on many of these instruments says designed with French technicians because there were Selmer techs at the factory helping the engineers and the line workers to build both the tooling and the uh, assembly of these instruments. So you'll notice that this nickel tenor saxophone has silver and then a dark polish finish. And it bears a lot in common with the Series 2 in terms of some of its keywork. However, to me, the uh, body 
and the, the tubing reminds me much more of the Selmer Mark VI. It's a really interesting combination. Let me give you a little play. I think this is a really dark, lush sound. Fantastic instrument. I love the dark, rich sound. It's lush that's coming out of this horn. And again, for the price, this could be your only instrument. This could be a backup. And this could be a perfect starter instrument if you're just switching over to the tenor saxophone as well. I think that this is a magnificent platform to experiment. You can change different necks. It'll support various Selmer necks from different periods of Selmer history. Playing with the key heights can definitely achieve a more compact and powerful core sound, or you can open them up and really blast. So this is the tenor saxophone, this is the Pro Series Nickel. And then last but not least is this really visually stunning alto saxophone, and I love the engraving work that was done on this instrument. It's really detailed, hand done, finely, finely finished. And what strikes me about this instrument is that it's really a blend to me between the Selmer, certainly, but also has some Buffet elements of what Buffet has now released as their artist level alto saxophone. And the sound coming out of this copper and brass model is really fantastic. So let me share this with you. So, in conclusion, Monique saxophones, they're not in production anymore. This was a 90s run, an initial run 
from the factory to begin exporting instruments to the United States and as well as globally. These are Taiwanese made instruments that represent a really amazing value in the marketplace. These three are for sale on Shoresax. So surf for your sound on Shoresax. Check out my reverb page. And as always, feel free to like, subscribe, message me on social media. My links are in the description below. And I hope you keep the reed wet. Cheers.